Taokan Battle's worldwide celebration has been confirmed to be the future saga, but I'm more interested in another celebration, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration. This year's celebration is going to be impossibly difficult to predict because there is literally tons of different units that they could choose from. To recap, last year we got Golden Metal Cooler, Modified Janemba, Super Hearts, Limit Breaker Goku and Limit Breaker Vegeta. Now this year we should expect Dokkan Awakenings for Golden Metal Cooler and Modified Janemba, as well as EZAs for Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Vegeta and possibly God Trunks. Metsukabura was released in 2021, so it's possible he may receive an EZA as well. Other EZA candidates include Pan, Robelu and the Brainwash Supreme Kai of Time, as well as potentially Super Saiyan 3 Gohunks, but of course that remains to be seen. With all that said, however, there is the question of new units. Who could they possibly be? Now, Dokkan Assets on Twitter believes that the celebration this year will include either one or both of these characters. Limit Breaker Gogeta or Blue Evolution Gogeta, or just standard Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. I think this is a good suggestion because other candidates can include Universal Super Saiyan Blue Goku, as well as the child version of Few. The comments on this post believe otherwise, suggesting Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Broly. I believe these two to be the more likely case. I think anything more recent has a lower chance of appearing in Dokkan. Me personally, I'd just love to see any of these scenes, perhaps even including Super Saiyan Rose 3 Goku Black vs Evolution Blue Gogeta. In fact, that was the same thing I tried to predict last year, but unfortunately it did not come to pass. But this year has some really big hype surrounding it, so I'm hoping it's something good. On the topic of side banner units, if they were to do, for example, a Rosé 3 vs Evolution Blue banner, in that particular case, side banner units could include the Saiyan in Black, maybe Golden Freezer and Golden Metal Cooler with the Dark Dragon Ball in their chest, or even perhaps a Cumber and Hearts duo unit or tag unit. Whether or not Super Saiyan 2 Broly is released is another thing entirely, because I don't think they're releasing everybody. <laughs> One of the more overlooked aspects of this collaboration is of course the free-to-play aspect, because last year in particular we were shafted quite badly. The images that we saw of the story event included a Grand Priest Goku, who we suspected might be able to go Ultra Instinct. But unfortunately, we were given a free-to-play Lagus, so that was kind of underwhelming. This year, however, I hope that they do release a better, more hype free-to-play unit, maybe more than one. And another thing to add to that as well, I hope they get rid of the current banner format because that is not good whatsoever. Having two SSRs that are featured but unable to be Dokkan Awakens for an entire year is not the best move in my opinion and in the community's opinion as well. Simply put, the easiest fix to the banner format is to just have five or more different new SSRs that can all be Dokkan Awakened and then have all the other Super Dragon Ball Heroes units. And realistically, Dokkan should be leaning into Heroes content a lot more because it is a, as I've stated multiple times before, a gold mine for different units and further characters for the game. I mean, at this point, they're running out of different units to do remakes on and different sagas to do. And because I know some people will eventually ask this, no, I don't believe the brand new Meteor mission will have anything to do with Dokkan for the next one or two years. Of course, this does include the recent Ultra God mission stuff, so I don't think we'll be seeing that generational Kamehameha anytime soon. Unless, of course, they decide to do a switch up, which would be quite interesting, quite unexpected, but very welcome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.